Welcome to Tag Tech, a series of short educational videos designed to help you get the most out of your Troutman colors. Welcome back to my color lab. Today we're going to talk about slime. Slime is a unique member of the Troutman Art Glass palette, uh, primarily because of the color spectrum that it reflects light in and transmits light in. It's uh, very active on the human brain. Uh, you can pick it out across the room when a lot of the other colors kind of fade into the background. And so we're going to be working with three different variations in the slime family. The slime, also known as regular slime, dense slime, sometimes called dense slime three, and also the satin slime. The best flame to use is a soft reducing flame when you're first heating the color up. You know, avoid the super hissing hot flames that are sometimes used or called raging flames. Be very careful about that and you shouldn't have any trouble. When you're first heating the slime up, you do not want to get it too hot because you might get a little boiling and that can lead to a little bit of white-ish haze on the glass. However, after the color has been brought up to temperature, a good working temperature, you can actually just work it normally like any other color and it works just fine. When you first get your rods or tubes of slime, you'll notice that they're quite opaque. When you heat the glass up to white hot, slowly and carefully of course, it becomes translucent or in some cases transparent. And if you work the glass really cool, it'll remain much more opaque. Uh, this is true of the regular and dense slime as well as the satin slime. So if you're looking for a more opaque look, you want to work the glass more cool in the flame. One of the things you want to watch out for with the slime is that in certain applications uh, you can have uh, some cracking issues with it if it's too thick. This is because the coefficient of expansion is slightly on the high side and so uh, be careful in that situation and uh, we recommend using it thinner rather than thicker. The slime family does have a milky kind of strike to the glass. So if you heat the glass up to white hot, let it cool, and then reheat the glass to uh, a fairly high temperature actually, you will notice a kind of a milky haze that develops within the glass. It's not just on the surface, it's throughout the glass itself. This can be used to affect. Uh, if you want more of that, use a dense slime. If you want it more translucent and transparent, then use the regular slime. One of the other properties of the slime family is if you coat it with a clear, it tends to make it more milky and white. And in fact, some customers actually use some versions of the slime as white. I would say probably the dense slime would be the best choice in that situation. Uh, it's really important to note that you can't strike this like you would a normal striking color, uh, like a silver, copper, or gold color, because the strike happens at a higher temperature, above the kneeling temperature, actually. So it's not only better to do it in the flame, it's necessary to do it in the flame. When you're using a color that needs to be oxidized and you're using it with a slime that likes a softer flame, especially initially, the way to do that is uh, you get the slime hot first and then you add the other color on. You can use the uh, much more oxidizing flame after the uh, slime is already hot. and That way you can work them both together and get them both to show up in their best uh, light, so to speak. The third example of a slime color is our satin slime, a unique form of slime that has a satiny, shimmery, soapy effect. 
We don't make a lot of it, but we have some very devoted fans, so we continue to make it from time to time. If you overheat the uh, satin slime and get it super white hot, the satiny effect will essentially disappear. It is uh, a flame tolerant color, so uh, you can get pretty hot, but just be, be cautious about overheating it. Thank you for watching this video tutorial on slime. Happy glass blowing.